Hi booktube, it's Andrea here and today I'm going to give you my non-fiction November week one wrap up along with my Friday read, so what I'll be reading over the weekend. So, how has non-fiction November been going for you? It's not been going that well for me, I have, oops, just dropped something, I've only actually finished one book and that one book was Necropolis, London and It's Dead by Catherine Arnold. So this tells the story of London and how London has buried its dead from um, the medieval period and beyond right up into the present day. So we go through the plague, uh, various plagues that, were ha that we had, we go through all the Victoriana, um, how they built the great garden cemeteries like Highgate and Nunhead and so on. And um, some I've never even heard of which make you Trips to London in the future sound very, very interesting in my opinion. Hmm. Um, right up until, you know, how the Victorians dealt with death, um, with their elaborate funerals and dressing and post-mortem photography and post, uh, you know, and mourning jewellery and mourning clothes and what you were expected to wear even as a pauper. Right up until the present day and the death of Princess Diana and how um, her funeral uh, in uh, 97 was almost a throwback to the Victorian style of mourning that they had. So I found this very, very fascinating. I'm just going to pick up what I've dropped. Oh dear, there we go. Absolutely fascinating book. Not very long, but very, very enjoyable. So I really did enjoy that book. Like I said, it is non-fiction to non-fiction November. Um, but that is the only non-fiction book I have actually read so far. So not a very good start to non-fiction November for me. Part of the reason for that is I was sent a couple of books to review by um, the publishing company Head of Zeus, uh, one of which is In the Dark by Andreas Fluger. This is only the cover because the book's actually in my bag because I took it to work to read today. Um, I'm getting through that. The review's actually due tomorrow, but I will read a good chunk of it tonight and finish it off tomorrow when I'm having my hair cut and then write the review when I get back because that's how it works sometimes. Um, so I will be finishing that tonight or tomorrow. And that will be followed by another fictional book, which is called District 8 by Adam Labor. Again, I was sent this for review by Head of Zeus. That's not due till next week, though. So I will be starting it this weekend and trying to read a, a couple of chapters a night. However, back to the non-fiction November post. I will be starting this weekend and probably finishing because I love this subject so much. I will be starting Clara Bow Running Wild by David Sten. So this tells the story of the film star Clara Bow who was also known as the It Girl who was big in the silent movies. Uh, she lived from 1905 to 1965. She was only 60 when she died and she was the greatest box office draw, and I'm reading this off the back, box office draw of her day. <laughs> So um, it's all about the, the um, life, her times, her films and the scandals that plagued her life as well, as well as her marriage to uh, Rex Bell. And it's going to be absolutely fascinating. I don't know much about Clara Bow, but I've heard very good things about this book. As you know, I've read his biography on Jean Harlow, which was called Bombshell, um, and I love his writing style. So I know I'm going to really enjoy this. So that was a very quick video, wasn't it? <laughs> So yes, very, very disappointed in myself for non-fiction November. To be fair, I've been very busy at work. I've also not been feeling 100%, so it's been very difficult and I haven't just had the concentration to read. So I'm hoping this weekend I'm going to really kick start, start the non-fiction stuff by having a good go through the Clara Bow book. And if I finish that this weekend, I'll start another one. How are you all getting on with non-fiction November? I hope you're all doing better than me. I mean... As a consolation, I do read a couple of non-fiction books a month normally anyway, so um, I will read the four I've put on my list and start some of the others. But that's it really, unfortunately. Um, not a lot of non-fiction November going on in this household right now, but I will be picking it up the pace with the non-fiction this weekend. Um, let me know how you're getting on below. I will be watching any um, updates and wrap-ups. Like I said, if you are interested in uh, London and you're a tapophile, i.e. interested in death in cemeteries, I would recommend picking this up. It was a really good read. I really enjoyed it. There's no, no gory photographs. There are some illustrations, but no gory photographs, so don't panic. Uh, so that's all from me for this video. I will see you soon um, with uh, another update. There'll be another non-fiction update next Friday along with a Friday reads which when I'll tell you what I'm going to read over the weekend whether it's fiction or non-fiction so I hope to see you all soon bye